Assalamualaikum to all who currently watching our presentation. So today we are from group 3. We'll present to you on uh, tubing convex perforating TCP. So uh, here is uh, my team members, which is my name is Nur Awada. And here is uh, Anis Binti Ahmadi and also Arif Amani. Now I'll extend to you on what is perforation. So where completion is one of the crucial steps in a production of all in all and gas before it is ready for commercial. And then uh, perforation is the final step in well completion and it is implemented on case whole well only. So after the well is drilled to pump out the production, wells are perforated using a high energy shape charge explosive that will help in the gun. So the gun then lower into the well and shoot multiple holes through casing and cement sheets into the producing zone which will create a pathway for fluid flow from the producing zone to the well ball. And now I will pass uh, for introduction to TCP to Anis. TCP is a technique that requires uh, the use of tubing to convey case gun to required depth. Uh, it consists of string of gun and space and selected accessory run at the end of testing or completion string. This technique allow all interval to be perforated in underbalanced condition at the same time. Underbalanced perforation occur when the pressure in the wear ball is lower than the pressure in the formation. Now, I will, I will explain to you on working principle of TCP. Here is the video clip of TCP operation by Becky Tuch that represent a permanent completion installment. Because the tubing convey perforating gun are configured with a production cycle. The system can be run and set either on tubing or wire line. A sitting nipple that may be required for hydraulically set backups. Surface control equipment can be installed prior to detonation, allowing a maximum wind control. Gun selection is not constrained by packer ball size. Therefore, High efficiency completion can be assured by combining proper gun size with the desire to underbalance. The operation begins by running the TCP equipment into the well bore by means of wire line conveyance. To prevent damage to the bottom of the well or the equipment, caution must be taken when taking the bridge plug. The assembly is slowly picked up to the place the TCP gun across the production zone. The production packer is set and the wireline setting equipment is pulled out of the hole. Production seals are installed to the bottom of production tubing, then run into the well bore prior to landing the production seals into the packer. Circulation of a lighter weight fluid is introduced to the production tubing, hence creating an underbalanced condition. It is important at this stage that a closed system does not exist the presence of a closed system while landing the production seals into the packer as it will lead to the hydrostatic compression that will result in a pressure spike affecting the hydraulic limitation of other downhill equipments. The production seals are now landed into the packer ball and the surface control equipment is installed and effective underbalance now exists. Pressure is now applied to the production string from surface in order to rupture the disc of the RD firing head adapter. After a brief time delay, the casing is perforated at the desired depth of the producing zone. At this point, gas that produced by the gun detonation actuate the auto-release mode of the mechanical firing kit with automation gun release. Then, the perforating guns are released and dropped. The production now flows, flows up to the string and to the well bore surface. So we continue with factor 
four factor, I choose three factor, which is shoot density, facing and perforation diameter. Shoot density is refer to the number of four create per unit of content. Uh, the density is generally generally determined by the production need as well as the feature of the formation. Uh, for facing is facing means that the radial distribution of succession perforating that change around the gun axis. The most frequent facing are zero. Uh, degree 60, 90, 120, and 180. For perforation diameter, the, uh, is is affected by two factor, which is a uh, shape charge of the used gun and the clearance gun in the casing. Excellent. So for the technology, uh, there are two here, which is first is the combined serving conveyor perforating and putting into production technology. Uh, the combined to be conveyor is uh, the picture from A to D. That is the technique that working uh, for the combined, which is A running into the stream, B calculating washing, C is perforating, and after that is put into production. The second picture, which is after the Combined to be conveyor picture is combined to be conveyor coverage and formatting testing technology. This, so this, the tubing consists of a picture. Next, for the current issue, uh, for current issue is uh, the safety of the packer has been jeopardized in the Gulf of Mexico since 2011 when the ceiling failure and central pipe fracture occur during deep water. Way of fighting. So, uh, the this research, this person Huang Hua Huang, uh, made a research about how to improve the safety of packer during the deep well water perforating. So, uh, during after the research, uh, it can conclude that uh, the safety optimization optimization methods of perforation packer of deep water well are putting force as a combination of extending tube length and inserting short. Uh, absorber. So uh, I will pass the next slide to Arif. Okay. Uh, I, uh, wait. Hi, I'm Arif Omani. I'm going to present about the advantages and disadvantages of TCP. Uh, for the advantages, firstly, is the efficiency and operation. Uh, rather of needing to make a several wireless tubes, uh, tubing TCP enable the well to operate uh, op uh with the wall operator to perform lengthy or widely separated periods concurrently on a single trip into the well. Next, uh, unbalanced perforating. Uh, unbalanced perforating is uh, the a pressure differential between the formation and well is produced, causing an instant, inten, instantaneous and control influx for formation fit into the well, improving the well productivity and injectivity while also cleaning the perforation. Uh, next is the safety. Uh, the uh, TCP has a uh, high safety, uh, for example, in the cannon firing head, a cylindrical weight or sinker bar is lowered into the tube and strikes a percussion type detonator. The bar can either be lowered by hand through an open well head control valve or held in a wireline lubricator and released when the well head valve are open. The bar, the drop bar has a safe firing pin that automatically retracts after impact at a predetermined time. As a result, if the weapon doesn't fire, the retractable drop bar won't be able to fire them when tripping out of the hole. Uh, and lastly, the perforating system with a high perf uh, performance. Uh, the adaptation of the casing and the improvement of the biggest receivable charges and high short density or restrict gun size. Gun size may be set up to provide the best short density and pattern for a given purpose. Uh, for the density, uh, and for the disadvantages, uh, it takes a long time before perforating charges will be fired. And next for the hardware and accessories, first we have guns. We guns we uh, uh, there's a few for factors that influence the choices of a gun system, which is uh, hardware measurement for completion, uh, desired perforation type, 
the short density and the facing uh, finishing data clearance requirements and environmental conditions. Next is system of fire. Uh, and then we have accessories. And then for the accessories, we have automatic gun detonation, we have shift up mechanical gun release, we have three and a half OD vertical shock observer, septic or radiative maker, field and flow combination, underbalance sub stitch tool, and shift detection system in digital form. And, and for the completion type, we have firstly we have uh, to being conveyed for forty commission on a temporary basis, uh, the gun are run into the well in a temporary to being conveyed for forty completion at the end of a, work, a working stream. And then we have multi zone wells or large intervals. Uh, this uh, many widely separated zones are uh, coming into a single production stream are uh, effectively finished on a temporary working stream. Then we have gravel pack wells. Uh, a, a perforating zone that will be gravel packed and have a high short density. Next, we have testing. Uh, and uh, uh, TCP and a well control valve may be together to get a fast look into the near well bore area to impulse testing. And then uh, a permanent tubing conveyor perforating completion. Uh, where the gun are run at the end of the final completion string in a permanent TCP completion. And there's also short intervals where in development wells with short growth intervals to be perforated, enough red hole can be provided to drop the guns, leaving the perforated interval unrestricted with the production string in place. Uh, and then we also have gravel back. Uh, the gravel pack can now be installed on the same thread as TCP operation, ensuring a permanent finish. And finally, there's dual completion with tubing TCP guns and a dual string in a permanent completion with two production zones can be perforated selectively. And next, I will pass to Nur Awada. All right, thank you, Arif. Now I will continue on the challenges and solutions. So amid of advantages of TCP, there are also challenges when we operate TCP, which is uh, when we want to perforate into a multiple well casing uh, or a thick cement sheet, so we require to use a small gun and, and to resolve this challenge. So uh, we use a hollow carrier gun, which is the ideal option to reduce the chance of being squeezed as uh, the well casing uh, is, uh, a, is uh, small due to the uh, casing and also due to the cement. And then uh, there is also challenge when uh, sometimes there is a slight overbalance in the well as TCP is operated in an underbalanced uh, well. So it is a challenge if there is a uh, overbalance pressure there. So uh, to resolve this, we use the same gun, which is hollow carrier gun, but with a 60 degree facing and 6 uh, SPF and also 7.3 gram deep uh, penetrating charge of the explosive float to reach uh, the best uh, perforation result and uh, maximum production. And uh, uh, next challenge is uh, their uh, possible damage due to the large perforating gunshot, gunshot load. So to reduce uh, the risk of damage, we conduct the risk evaluation by using a software model to predict uh, the well bore hydronomics and structural loads to maintain the, uh, the performance of uh, perforation of product uh, of production of oil and gas while uh, reducing the risk uh, due to the large perforating load. And then there are also, there are also challenges on uh, reduction of operational cost, cost costing expenses while and uh, we need to enhance uh, the best performance. Um, so uh, to resolve this issue, uh, and maintain our performance of PCP. So we use a uh, quantum perfect single chip perforating and fret packing technology in our TCP to replace uh, the users of fluid loss fields uh, before the uh, conventional two chip fret packing system is installed in the web. Uh, this is uh, the fluid field is used uh, to 
to melt the uh, the formation uh, in the well so that uh, the producing zone uh, able to flow uh, from the re from the producing zone to the well bore without any um, any issue. And now uh, as uh, to conduct a TCP, we require to follow a safety guideline. Uh, there, there are three, which is pre-job, um, the the uh, handling of uh, explosive, and also uh, a post job of uh, this uh, handling of TCP. So for pre-job, uh, we need to conduct a meeting, a health safety and meet, health safety uh, meeting. Uh, which uh, first we need to identify uh, the on-site uh, hazard on the well, on the well site. So uh, the hazard must be identified and eliminated first before the operation uh, is begin. To do that, uh, uh, we need to conduct the meeting. And, and then uh, as for explosive packaging, uh, there are some material that are possible to explode or to ignite the fire. So we require to properly label the mat, uh, the material and pack following the current safe regulation. And we also require to establish a gun loading area where uh, the well location uh, locate uh, location where the gun will be loaded is required to establish so that all personnel uh, in the current area is uh, alert uh, during the operation of uh, perforating. So uh, the second is uh, on well on site unloading. Uh, it, it is about explosive device. So now uh, for explosive device, that we must uh, establish, uh, we must uh, prepare the designated area for to store the explosive device. So uh, explosive material must be loaded within the designated area. It must be far away from any ignited source, such as heat and also welding. Uh, and uh, we must uh, display the warning sign, such as caution, uh, the hazardous waste area, or danger there is uh, explosive materials, and only authorized personnel only can be on the designated site. Uh, and uh, it also important to to conduct a housekeeping or maintenance, uh, as the remnants of explosive must not be mixed with a regular trash or waste. So that after the loading, uh, the cleaning, cleaning procedure must be done immediately. So we want to avoid any incident from occur on site. And then uh, after that, we also have a post job on the post job procedure for safety, which is handling and disposal. So uh, to handle all this explosive, uh, the the or this remnant must be placed into the proper container. Then uh, we transport uh, all of that uh, away from the well site, uh, such as the damaged chargers or misfired detonators. And then, um, meanwhile, uh, all of the remnant also, or the dis any discharge or waste associated with the operation uh, must be collected and placed in the designated area or container before we transport away from the well site. And that is the end of our presentation. So if uh, you have any question, you can uh, approach us at Microsoft Teams. And thank you for watching our presentation.